Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today's topic is don't rely on ChatGPT if you are a junior developer. If I would have to make this video a few weeks ago, I might have changed the title to don't use ChatGPT if you are a junior developer. And there is a reason why I made this change. So let's get started with the video. As I'm learning more and more about this technology, I think I have come to the conclusion that in the future, we all, I mean, we all developers will be using something like ChatGPT in the future. I mean, AI will be present everywhere, including your code. So rather than saying like, don't use ChatGPT, I change it to don't rely. So I'll give you five reasons why you should not rely on ChatGPT if you're a junior dev. So let's talk about the reason number one. So as a junior dev, when you are starting to learn code, you will face like many obstacles. Like you will have too many questions. There will be too much stuff on the internet. Then you have to dig deep and find those solutions. But what these tools like ChatGPT will do is they'll give you answer in a matter of seconds. So let's say you are learning CSS and you give ChatGPT a command to give a div a border of two pixel with red border. I mean, if you don't have a tool like ChatGPT, you probably go to Google, type your question, and then you probably have a Stack Overflow or GitHub pages where you can find those solutions, right? So Stack Overflow will force you to see through all the replies and you can also contribute it. In the beginning, you want to follow the hard path. It's more like that cliche that you need to sweat more in the practice so that you bleed less in the war. So something like that. So if you rely too much on tools like ChatGPT, uh, what will happen in the tech interviews? Like they'll ask you those questions and then you can't say like, I need to ask ChatGPT, right? So make sure you don't depend too much on these tools. If you're stuck in a problem, first go to the internet, read all discussion through Stack Overflow and then try to get your answer. And if for some reason you couldn't find it, then you can always ask it. I mean, but don't make it your habit to go to ChatGPT and put your question and it will give you answer. That will be too bad for your future self. So now comes to the reason number two. So if you depend too much on ChatGPT, what will you do if you don't find your solution on ChatGPT, right? I mean, there are still code bases which have written in weird ways. They have using weird languages and weird structure. And maybe ChatGPT won't have access to those files. Or maybe you're doing something brand new, then ChatGPT might have not access to those files as well. So what will you do? They have no data to fetch the answer for you. Then you need to depend on yourself to find those solutions, right? So that was my reason number two, that you should not just depend too much on this tool. Now let's talk about the, the reason number three. So the way we learn in software development or this coding work is through trial and error. I remember when I started learning code, I made too many mistakes. I mean, I spent hours upon hours, days, just solving tiny bugs. And I know that that's, I think, the most frustrating feeling as a, as a developer, but you need to pass through that. You need to have that stamina, that mental fortress, or you can say just ability to push back those problems. So make sure when you're learning to code, you make those errors so, because you need to learn from those errors. If you're not making them, you will make them eventually in a real world project where there will be too many things on the stake. So don't rely too much on chat GPT to give you all the answers. Rely on your brain. And the reason number four is the chat GPT won't give you always the correct answer. I mean, that's the truth and that's the reality right now. Like, most of the time, it will give you the right answer, but sometimes it might not give you what you are looking for. So what you need to do is, you need to go back to the old way of finding those solutions. You will probably use the Stack Overflow or you probably uh, go to the GitHub pages and try to find the solution. And if you don't have that practice in the beginning, then how will you able to find those solutions when you'll be working in a real job? So that's my main concern with these tools that they will I think they kind of make developers dumb because if we depend too much on them to write code for us, I mean, uh, we are not getting any smarter that way. So make sure you do your learning. You write your code with your own hand. Don't do copy and paste. And I think your future self will thank you for that. And reason number five is, uh, I think ChatGPT or these AI tools, they lack creativity. I mean, how did these tools 
find those solutions because people have put those solutions on the internet and these language models have their way of finding the right solution, right? But what will happen if we will not give uh, any creative answers to this problem? Then what will happen is there will be no new data. So we need people who can generate this data for AI and for other people as well. So if everyone's just copying everyone else, we will not have any creativity. So to learn that creativity, you need to spend time with the code. You need to spend time in front of your computer, banging your head, try to find the right answer. So yeah, so those were uh, my five reasons why you should not use tools like ChatGPT. And if you have any more uh, reasons, you can put down in the comments. Uh, I'll read them. And I think that's all from this video. I'll probably see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.